Hi guys, this is Echo Soundworks with another Serum tutorial for ADSR sounds. First, if you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please sign up at youtube.com forward slash ADSR toots, that's T-U-T-S. So in today's Serum tutorial, I'm going to be showing you some hidden features that I've discovered while using the synth. So first thing I want to show you is, let's say you're plodding along, making a boring sound with one oscillator saw waveform, and you start to move the octave down, two, let's say that and you start to move the semitone up to 7 for some reason. All right, so what you can do is, let's say you want to get that back down to 0. Well, and you're too lazy to actually scroll down 7 or, or up 2 like myself. Well, on most synths, what you would do is you would double-click sometimes, and actually a lot of synths you do that, and they go back down to 0, but not the case on CM. On a Mac, what you do is you command-click, and it will bring certain values that you move up down to uh, the default or down, back down to 0. Now, on a PC, I believe that's the Alt key. I'm not a PC user, so if I'm wrong, please don't crucify me for that, but I think it's the Alt key. All right, second little hidden thing that I thought was cool was, let's say you make like a really dope and cool uh, LFO shape that takes you forever to draw in, and you want to get it to your second LFO. Well, you have two ways to do that. One would be you save it um, and then load it, or you could try this. Hold down the Alt or Option key, and then just click, drag, and let up. Boom. I can do it to the third LFO, so let's do it real quick. Let's do it to the fourth LFO, because that one was actually a different shape. There you go. And you can also do this to the, envel to the envelope. So see my envelope shape, first envelope has a lot of attack, and the second does not. I can hold down Alt or Option, click, drag, let up. It's an easy way to copy and paste your envelope, custom envelope shapes, or your LFO shapes without having to save them. Now the next cool little thing I saw was, let's, let's make sure the filter's on for this. If you click on where it says Mix, which it'll say Mix on any of the filter types inside of Serum, not actually on the knob, but the actual word mix. It'll change to level, and now this is basically an output level. Where it, you know, can turn up or down the volume of everything. And then back to mix, which I thought was pretty cool. Let's go to the effects tab and start to discuss this uh, compressor. So it just looks like a generic or basic compressor. You have threshold, ratio, attack, release, gain, and your power switch or whatever. And if you turn this ratio up, you'll see the ratios move typically like 2 to 1, 3 to 1, 4 to 1, 8 to 1. Now it says 32 to 1. And if you go past 32 to 1, it says limit. I did some digging around, and this is actually a limiter now. It's not just a compressor that got to a high enough ratio to be considered a limiter. The circuit it is emulated on is trying to emulate a limiting effect, which is pretty cool. So kind of adds one more effect to Serum's FX rack. All right, cool. If you guys have any questions or comments, I will get back to you as soon as I can. As always, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I will see you next time.